Everyone, Assalamualaikum. It's me, Teacher Elena for English Year 6. Today, we are going to continue our topic on Unit 7, Healthy and Wise. This is the lesson objective for today's session. I can answer simple questions based on passage given. Alright, I would like you to turn to your English module, page 7. Or you can refer to this passage in your textbook. Alright, soalan yang pertama. Untuk bahagian ini, teacher akan bantu kamu macam mana cara nak menjawab soalan yang telah diberikan. Pastikan kamu rujuk buku teks ataupun uh, rujuk English module kamu muka surat 6 untuk jawapan. Okay, kita akan mulakan sekarang. Alright, uh, we have five questions over here. Kita ada lima soalan di sini. But, I'm not going to answer number one first. Saya tak akan, kita tak akan jawab lagi soalan nombor satu. Kerana soalan nombor satu ni, dia memerlukan pemahaman kita mengenai teks yang telah diberikan. Jadi, teacher akan bantu kamu jawab soalan nombor dua, tiga, empat dan lima dahulu. Kemudian, last sekali baru kita akan kembali kepada soalan nombor satu. Soalan nombor dua. What is the purpose of a pestle and mortar? Maksud soalan ini adalah apakah tujuan alu dan lesung? Untuk pengetahuan kamu, alu bermaksud ini tempat untuk kita tumbuk. Lesung ni adalah benda ni. Okay. So, what is the purpose of a pestle and mortar? If you look at your textbook atau, ataupun uh, module English kamu, awak boleh rujuk pada perenggan yang pertama, uh, eh sorry, perenggan yang kedua, ayat yang kedua. They would use a pestle and mortar to pound their spices. To pound their spices untuk tumbuk rempah ratus. So, Question number two, the answer is pounding. Alright, moving on to question number three. Why did food taste better in the old days? For this question, you can refer to paragraph one, um, sentence one and two. In the old days, food tasted better and was more nutritious. This is because of the cooking methods our great grandparents use. So, how do you write your answer in question 3? Food tastes better in the old days because of the cooking methods our great grandparents use. Kalau kamu perhatikan di sini, ayat ini saya ambil daripada perenggan yang petikan yang telah diberikan. Kamu hanya salin sahaja selepas ayat selepas because hinggalah kepada full stop di situ. Okay, I hope everything is okay so far. So good. Soalan nombor empat. List down electrical appliances mentioned in the passage. Electrical appliances bermaksud peralatan yang menggunakan kuasa elektrik. So, in this passage, uh, in this passage, you can refer to paragraph 1, sentence number 3. There were no modern appliances like microwave ovens, food processors or automatic cookers. So, modern appliances and electrical appliances are actually the same. Bermas uh, membawa maksud yang sama. So, our answer for number 4 are... Microwave ovens, seperti yang teacher ambil daripada petikan. Food processors, sama juga. And last but not least, automatic cookers. Semuanya diambil daripada petikan yang diberikan. So, number five. Would you be able to live a life without technology and modern inventions? Why? Soalan ini, uh, dia tanya, adakah awak boleh hidup tanpa teknologi ataupun peralatan moden? Kenapa? Okay, this is just my answer. Jawapan yang teacher berikan ni adalah jawapan teacher sendiri. If you have any 
If you have your own answer, you can just write it down. Or if you wanna help me, if you want, if you want me to help you in writing down your answer, you can just call me or you can just text me. Okay. So, my answer is, I would not be able to live a life without technology and modern inventions because I did not know how to use traditional method. Maksud ayat ini adalah, saya tidak boleh hidup tanpa teknologi dan ciptaan moden kerana saya tidak tahu cara untuk menggunakan uh, peralatan tradisional. Okey, ini seperti yang teacher maklumkan tadi, ini adalah jawapan teacher. Sekiranya kamu ada jawapan sendiri ataupun kamu perlukan bantuan teacher, boleh terus maklumkan, boleh terus call ataupun message. Alright, okay. So, kita akan kembali kepada soalan yang pertama. So, what is the passage about? Okay, so the passage is about appliances ataupun peralatan. Kenapa jawapan teacher adalah appliances? Kerana if you look at uh, in the passage, dalam petikan ini mereka bercakap mengenai peralatan yang digunakan pada waktu sekarang dan peralatan yang digunakan pada zaman dahulu kala. Jadi kita boleh simpulkan perenggan ini bermak uh, adalah mengenai peralatan. So the answer for question number one is B. Okay. I think that's all for today's session. If you have any problems, if you have anything to ask, you can just call me or you can just text me. I'll be happy to assist. I'll see you again later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.